Uh, hello and welcome to the very first ever edition of Pan Plays. Um, I am Darth Pansidious, the stupid Lord of Sith, um, and I have decided to make this video today because um, catching horses isn't particularly easy um, if you don't know what you're doing and a lot of the videos out there that I've seen uh, give you no help or suggestions or information of how you should actually be doing it. So uh, here I am to enlighten you a little bit on the information etc that I have found out over the course of playing Black Desert Online and yeah so I'm just going to give you a couple of hints of how to catch horses so the first thing you need is capture rope and lumps of sugar uh, capture rope is here you can buy that from a stable shop they sell them for 1500 silver each um, you need to be at least beginner level 5 on training to be able to use the capture rope in the first place. way to increase your capture level is by riding a horse or a donkey. Uh, so you can do that and then obviously catching horses, riding horses, training horses etc will increase your training level over time but uh, that's neither here nor there and not really relevant. Um, the second part is lumps of raw sugar. Uh, the way to make this, because you can't buy them, is you would go to a shop slash innkeeper um, and there, so like a cooking person, so like in Velia you can go to that guy who calls himself whatever his name is, he's a douchebag and he's always rambling crap. Uh, you can go to him and basically buy raw sugar, it has to be raw sugar, not sugar, and it takes 10 parts raw sugar to every one part water so both of which you can buy from the cook guy or an innkeeper um, I believe the water is about 30 silver raw sugar is about 200 silver so yeah basically you buy 10 parts raw sugar um, one part water or mineral water um, and then basically you would just press L on your keyboard to open up the crafting menu like so you go to heating and then you literally just dash in the raw sugar and the water click start and you will make lumps of raw sugar so uh, first part of catching horse um, the mini game so first of all you need to bring up your capture rope right click your capture rope brings up this mini game with the mouse uh, so obviously to initiate the mini game you would press the left mouse button as highlighted in yellow Second part is getting close enough to the horse that the red target appears on the horse. Uh, I would suggest, uh, there you go, see it appear on the horse now. So that is now means I am in range to catch the horse. Uh, it's not advisable to throw the rope while it's in motion. If you do, it will likely miss because sometimes that little red target can just vanish and reappear at random depending on whether or not if the horse walks over a bump in the terrain or something. Next part of the mini game is a gauge that only goes up and down once. And that gauge basically will have a red section in it where it's telling you to stop the gauge in. By stopping it, you press the space bar, uh, which we will come to now. The third part of the mini game I'm going to purposely fail um, just so I can show you guys the gauge. Um, so here we go. There we go, caught the horse, and this I'm guessing is the part where all of you fail, okay? Now, the reason why I failed there was because I didn't press spacebar, and I didn't press it when the horse raised its legs. If you press spacebar before the horse raises its legs, or the moment directly after you have thrown the rope, you're going to instantly fail. That kept happening to me, and it was incredibly annoying, and I couldn't understand why it was happening and that's the reason why it was happening and I'm guessing that's probably what's happened to a lot of you and that's probably the reason why you're here trying to find out how to do it so as we go again um, just obviously so you're aware like you saw there with the mini game when I caught the horse that gauge only goes up and down once it does not go like how it goes in fishing you don't get three attempts you only get one so you've obviously got to hit, hit it first time so once again get close enough to the horse to see the arrow I'm going to wait for it to stop, I'm not going to get too close or it's going to run away and then bam, caught the horse, I start walking towards it, press spacebar because it raised its legs now here's the mini game of tapping spacebar repeatedly as you can see under spacebar it says remaining 3 seconds, 2 seconds, on 0 I'm going to stop 
there and then I'm going to go back to pressing W to walk towards the horse, raised his legs again so I press space bar and I keep tapping like a madman until, come on, come on hussy, yeah you want to give up, can't take my skills. So walking towards the horse again, raise his legs again, stupid mini game, this one's really giving it, I don't know why it's giving it so much because it's not really exactly a very high tier horse. Um, that's another thing to keep in mind. Uh, the higher the tier the horse, the more difficult it's going to be to catch. Okay, so now I've gotten close enough to the horse, I've got the white outline. Now, lumps of sugar, you can feed it one now. You can do it from your menu here and press right click, but as you can see, can't use item. It sometimes bugs out and is a bit of a dick. So what I do is I put it on my hot bar and I just press 8 and there you go. It's fed it the lump of sugar. Now this is the next part where a lot of people fuck up, okay? Don't try and jump on the horse straight away just because you've gotten close enough to give it sugar. That doesn't mean you're going to get on it. The, what I have found is the ideal time frame of being able to get on the horse, depending on how high its tier is, because obviously if it's a lower tier it's going to let you on it quicker. But on average what I've noticed is if you feed it a lump of sugar and wait for a minute, you're more likely to get on it. And the higher tier horses, it is beneficial to yourself to feed it extra lumps of sugar. So, um, give it another lump of sugar here. Um, but that doesn't still guarantee that you're going to get on it. So don't think that that's the be all and the end all of it because that's not always the case. Sometimes the horse can just decide to be a prick and toe punt you in the face. And um, yeah, no one really likes getting their brain stamped out by a horse. So, we're going to walk beside Mr. Horsey now and see if we can get on him. Hopefully he doesn't kick us in the face, and then that should conclude the video. Nope, there he goes, face stamp. Face stamp, activate face stamp. It was super effective. Um, okay, so let's do this again. Catch, walk towards the horse. All right, another thing to keep in mind, I'm ridiculously close right now, so it's gonna take longer for me to catch this horse. So even though I'm gonna get to this part of the game, here and feed it sugar that doesn't mean that I can get on it sooner um, it's still a kind of time bracket game where it doesn't let you on okay so yeah basically just be patient um, make sure you've got lots of rope lots of sugar particularly lots of sugar it's um, me personally I normally like to go for two or three lumps of sugar um, just to help get on the damn bloody thing because they can be rather awkward at times um, once we've got on the horse, I'll show you the next part, um, which can be beneficial, because obviously if you've brought your horse here, uh, you've rode out to a location to catch a horse, and you've got your horse there, uh, there is a handy little trick um, with your horse that you can do to still get the other horse back to register it, because the rest of it's really easy. Once you've caught a horse, you literally ride it back to a town, take it to a stable, open the stable menu and then basically there you'll see it on the list wild horse you click on that icon and it will say register wild horse and then from there basically you just give it a name etc and it's fucking simple that's the easiest bit of it so let's try and get on this one again yep it's going to let us on so now we need to go to our horse who is already here here's my horse um so another handy tip so that you don't have to worry about basically riding two horses because you can't um, and you don't have a car and you wouldn't be able to do that anyway this horse now because I'm on my horse will follow me uh, which is handy so as you can see here there he goes he's following me he's a good horsey he's a good horsey so um, I'm gonna go and take this big dog back to a stable and register him um, I hope that has been helpful, I, um, I know I would have liked that information at the beginning when I was first doing this. Um, so yeah, if there's anything you'd like to ask, feel free to leave it in the comments. Um, if you want to just generally insult me or troll me or whatever, please feel free to leave that in the comments. Um, and I will be making another couple of videos one will be horse breeding and one will be horse skills uh, because obviously they can be a bit fiddly as well if you don't really know what you're doing and it's your first time doing it so uh, maybe I'll see you again um, in the meantime uh, you will stay classy and yeah 
hopefully I'll see you again next time. Ciao for now.